I am the worst person to actually review this film. This is not my kind of film, but it might be your kind of film. I'm reviewing Arcadian. Arcadian is the newest horror action film from RLJE Films and Shudder, and it is in theaters right now. It is directed by Benjamin Brewer, and it stars Nicolas Cage, Jaden Martell, and Maxwell Jenkins. I'm gonna keep this review as spoiler-free as possible, so I won't ruin the movie for you. Arcadian is set in an apocalyptic world, and it focuses on a father and his two sons. His two sons have only known and grown up in this apocalyptic world where creatures attack at night. They have a farmhouse, and as we discover, there are a few additional farmhouses in the vicinity, and they live a very simple, quiet life. Hence the title, Arcadian. Foraging during the day and boarding themselves up in the evening. It is mentioned that the creatures maybe came up to prevent pollution from the world, like exterminating the humans, but I think that's all very much an assumption. So in essence, I don't think we really know why this has happened. We just know that creatures have started coming up from the ground and attacking humans. I did have this on my watch list, but I had a super bad week. My computer crashed, so I couldn't even work or get anything done. And I was just like, nope, nope, I'm not gonna do it. Too much trouble. And then I read a couple of reviews that stated how fabulous this film was. And I was like, well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. Guess I better go see it. So me and my buttered butt took ourselves to the theater and watched Arcadian. I need to preface all of this by saying I am really the worst person to review this film. I have mentioned multiple times, multiple, multiple, multiple times how I hate Lifetime films masquerading as a horror film. And I don't mind having some family drama, I just don't want it to be the majority of the film that I'm watching. You need that drama, you need that character development. That part I'm fine with. And I really don't like it when it's focused on the family and I hate the family. Luckily, that is not the case here. Well, I did kind of hate one member of the family for a little bit. This film is really a character study and a coming of age story for these two boys. It is really about how these two boys get along with each other, with their father, and with the surrounding communities. That is a big part of this film. One is a very clever boy who reads and studies and is trying to understand the creatures, and the other is a selfish jerk, or in other words, a normal teenager. <laughs> I am a huge, 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 huge Nicolas Cage fan. And I will say that he is tertiary to them in this film. And also, I really have to say that his performance is wonderful here. It's very understated. It is not, it is not, not, not the typical Nicolas Cage performance that you are used to seeing. I have always said, what a phenomenal actor Nicolas Cage is. I think a lot of people see him and they think he's so over the top, but that's how he chooses to envision that character. But he can play a normal father. I mean, in Color Out of Space, I thought he was amazing. He was still undertoned for Nicolas Cage in that. You're not gonna get a ton of Nicolas Cage. You're gonna get the majority of the film surrounding these two boys. There are a lot of pros to this film. The creature design is very cool and very weird. The creatures also have amazing sound design that is attached to them. I can't give anything away, but they're very odd. I would have loved more creature, but we actually get quite a bit. You see a little bit as it goes along and then you see a lot more toward the end. And I think it's better that we don't actually know how or why this happened because it's not really relevant. We're really just living in this moment of time with these two boys and their father. That's, that's really what it's all about. The location and the set and costume design are great and wonderful. And I guess I should attribute some good things to makeup because it's actually really pretty funny that one of the boys has a haircut that's like super bad and he's got like, 
He's got like divots in his head. I think that's precious. I actually chuckled to myself multiple times when I saw the. I was like, poor kid, he's, he's a jerk, but he's cute and he deserves a better haircut. A major, major highlight of the film. And if you are gonna have a lifetime drama horror, this is imperative. The acting here is fantastic. Fantastic. But everyone is amazing, like truly. I also really bought the chemistry between the characters, all of the characters, everyone in here just did such a phenomenal job. And that's probably one of the reasons why I'm not like dumping all over this film. I can objectively see when a film is still good, obviously, just cause it's not for me. I see the value, I see the beauty in it. I see what's happening here. I see that they have made some good things happen here. These teenagers, you know, have been raised in this world, in this environment. This is all that they have known. And because of that, you know, they act accordingly. They also had some very, very cute and funny moments. There is this one driving scene. <laughs> oh, it's precious. And it's not just the way it's filmed, even though it is filmed a little differently, but that did make it almost funnier. It's just the way that the three interacted during this and Nicolas Cage just, he kind of seemed like he wanted to laugh, which makes me laugh even more. It's so cute. Some people actually get it in this, and I was kind of cheering here. They were jerks. I don't like jerks. Pretty much all, or the major entirety of this film is shot as if it's handheld. When the film first started, it was very, very shaky, and it took me a while to get used to it. I'm fine with that once it gets going, but initially it really, whoa. And I know some of you probably don't enjoy that shaky handheld work. So if you don't, definitely pass on this. Also, some shots were so dark so dark I couldn't tell what was going on. That's unusual for me because typically, like when other people say, oh, this movie was dark, I was like, oh, 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 that was fine. This one was very dark for me. And I couldn't tell what was happening all the time. I mean, obviously sometimes that was purposeful, but sometimes when I think that we were supposed to know what was going on, I couldn't tell what was going on. I did find a few things a little odd, like they had a creature almost autopsy that starts and goes nowhere. I was really hoping something would come of that. I thought that would be fascinating. Had they taken that sort of route with this film and less of the family, I would have loved it. That's like my alien moments for me. With that being said, it might surprise you that I am going to praise this film for a certain group of people. And why, Crystal, why would you do that? Because you usually poo-poo on most of the lifetime subgenre of horror films. Yes, I do. Like I did so recently, actually, with the film. But this film, as far as the family drama aspect goes, was done very, very well. This is a quality film. I can see a ton of people really liking and enjoying this film. I am not that person. I don't particularly like films about teenagers. I was one and I didn't like it. It was the worst time of my life. So I'd rather not think about it all that much. Unless it's a comedy. I can do the comedy. I can do like Lisa Frankenstein. I did enjoy that. That was a good one. This lifetime subgenre of horror isn't really my brand of horror that I enjoy. But I get it, it totally has a place. If you like A Quiet Place, I think you'll really enjoy this film. I did not like A Quiet Place. I know, weird, huh? Mm, just not my thing. I did like Hereditary though, because that was crazy, that was bonkers. The family was so dysfunctional. As far as lifetime subgenre horror films go, this isn't the worst. It's actually pretty good. Did you like A Quiet Place? Are you a Nicolas Cage fan? And are you planning on seeing Arcadian? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, I really do hope that you have the most amazing day, my spooky darlings. I want to give a big wonderful thank you to my Patreon members out there. I truly appreciate the support, especially after the week I've had. Chris Mizzictino, Jimmy Hoare, Janie McLaren, Jose Reyes, Phil Smith, Jim Kemmerling, and Deal Demon. 
Woof. Worst time of my life ever. I would never, I would never go back to being a teenager. Nope. No, thank you. <sighs> Woof. In case that wasn't obvious. <laughs> I didn't make that obvious. <laughs> Hell, I've hated that. Boo. I don't like these family drama films with horror like slapped onto it just so that they can attract horror fans. Because let's be real, horror fans are some of the most loyal, wonderful people in the world. And I love horror fans because of that. Yeah, I really enjoyed seeing that burn. That was a lovely thing. That's where my excitement ends. No, 